Hey, it's the Manifestation Dude here. Aliens, it's out of the bag. I've been watching some stuff on Joe Rogan lately. Um, the Tic Tac um, interview. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, stuff's coming out of the bag. And then now this. Aliens exist and President Trump knows about it. That's according to Israel's former space security chief. In an interview with an Israeli newspaper, he said the aliens have been waiting until today for humanity to develop and reach a stage where we will understand in general what space and spaceships are. NBC News Chief Global Correspondent Bill Neely explains this one. They have been waiting until today, today, for humanity to, to develop and reach a stage where we will understand in general what space and spaceships are. Well... Um, don't we kind of already understand both of those things? This doesn't make any sense. Waiting until today. So is it today? But Trump doesn't say anything? Well, that's probably no surprise. But, dude, it's out of the bag. Galactic Federation. And, wait, so what are you guys thinking about? I don't know if anybody has checked this out or if anybody's talked to anybody about this. I'm interested because... I've shared this with a few people, and nobody seems to be taking it seriously. So, David Fravor, a naval pilot of 18 years, has seen this tic-tac, and also something coming out of the ocean, um, and he's been on Lex Friedman's podcast and Joe Rogan's podcast, and Joe Rogan has had quite a few people on there. He had Bob Lazar on there as well, who was... Um, very well known for talking about Element 115, which has since been discovered magically. But now this, and nobody seems to be talking about it. Nobody seems to care about it, okay? My big worry, and they mention, well, anyway, let's. I'll show you the video here anyway. Hi, Alison. Well, this is quite a story, and it comes from the man who headed... Israel's space security program for nearly 30 years. Chaim Eshed is making the extraordinary claim that the United States and Israel have been in contact with a group of aliens for years, not immigrants, but extraterrestrials. He has called them the Galactic Federation of Aliens, and he says President Trump is aware of the existence of these aliens and had been on the verge of revealing their secrets, he claims but was asked not to do so by the Federation in order to prevent what he calls mass hysteria. Well, a retired general says the US and Israel have kept it from the public because, <laughs> quotes, humanity isn't ready and the aliens don't want to reveal themselves until humanity can evolve, he says, and understand what space really is. Well, the good news is that he claims an agreement has been reached between the US government and the aliens, a contract to do experiments here, there's also, he says, a secret underground base on Mars where there are American and alien representatives. Now, this former head of a branch of Israel's defense ministry is 87. He was very well respected, at least until now. And he said all this in an interview with an Israeli newspaper in Hebrew, but it's really taken off after parts of it were published in English by the Jerusalem Post today. He says he's come forward now in the hope that his news will be accepted as true. He notes that if he'd made these claims five years ago, he would have been hospitalized, but now he says, I've got nothing to lose. Well, so far, President Trump has not tweeted about this. Though remember, a year ago, he did set up the Space Force as the fifth branch of the US Armed Forces. Well, we did ask the White House, the Department of Defense, and Israeli officials to comment. So far, they have not responded to the NBC News request. And I wonder if they ever will. Alison. So there you go. So, Trump has set up Space Force. Um, they wanted, the, the aliens didn't want anybody to know, but this guy blabbed. Nobody cares anyway, obviously, nobody cares. But there's a Space Force, which, if, if you look up the Tic Tac, the object, the way that thing moves, and the fact that these things seem to, these things, we should say these things, these beings, right, which 
I totally believe that they've been here for a long time, in and out, and um, I mean, just it, it it just makes a lot of sense. The fact that there's been sightings all along, and there's the the crash that happened in whatever the fifties, um, where they just said it was a, a, a weather balloon. Okay, so. Um, there's been a lot of evidence, and these beings can communicate um, telepathically, which is not that far off of, of, of thinking, like, you know, that, that people can communicate telepathically. If you in any way believe that people have a sixth sense or that intuition that um, if you believe in the collective consciousness, then it's not too far off believing that other beings, other advanced beings have been able to, you know, develop that ability to communicate telepathically. So I'm putting it out there. But um, David Fravor mentions that the... Tic Tac seemed to know his thoughts. And there's been other instances where uh, there was a particular instance when somebody shot at, or they were going to go, some fighter pilot was going to go shoot at an unidentified flying object, and his controls locked up. So this being, this entity, whatever you want to call it, the alien, whatever, sensed that he was going to be an aggressor and locked up the controls. So the fact, if we have a space force and, you know, whatever, I don't, you know, it, I'd be interested to know a bit more ab about them, if they, about what is actually known. But Nobody that I know seems to really care too much about this. It, it kind of, you know, they feel like maybe it doesn't pertain to them. But if if this is true and there are aliens, let's call them here, and they're living in the 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 bodies of water that are on this planet, a lot of things about that make sense because if you wanted to hide from anybody, you'd you'd hide in the water because that's the least explored part of this earth. So if they are hiding in the ocean, um, you know, it goes without saying that, you know, they're already here and they've been here for a long time. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, like, that's what I really want to know. What do you think? Let me know down below. And um, does it bother you? Does it concern you? Do you? Are you worried? Are you, like, fearful of them? Because I personally, I'm not. I mean, what's there to be fearful of? We don't know anything about them. And I believe that they would be... Um, benevolent beings because um, that's just how I roll. I'm not going to think that they're going to be an aggressor or anything, that, that we're all part of the one. If they're in this universe, then they're the same as us. They're made up of the same. Everything is made up of the same. That's what I believe. Um, take it or leave it, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think I'm nuts? Do you think these people are nuts? Do you think... Like, um, I don't know. Do you think you're nuts? <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments down below. If you did like the video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, hit the donate button and the notification bell for more videos as the uh, information about aliens starts coming to light because uh, this is one of the things that... I've loved for a long time. Um, anyway, so talk to you guys again. See you on the next one.